hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to a very exciting fortnight of videos on my channel. Welcome to two weeks of Thomas Hardy. So those of you who have been watching my channel for really quite a while, by which I mean like over a year, may remember that previously in the past of my channel I have done various author weeks. I did a week in which I spoke about a different Jane Austen novel every day back in December of 2015. I did two weeks of Charles Dickens back in February 2016 and then in April 2016 I did Bronte week where I talked about all the novels by the Bronte sisters. And I thought it was about time that I did a fortnight of Thomas Hardy. This is partly because Thomas Hardy's birthday is coming up this coming Friday, the 2nd of June. Thomas Hardy is going to be 177 years old. He was born on the 2nd of June 1840 and died on the 11th of January 1928. So partly I want to do a Hardy fortnight in order to celebrate his birthday and partly I want to do a Hardy fortnight because back in December of 2016 I finished reading all of Thomas's Hardy's novels. I've read all of his novels. I like a lot of them. I like some of them very much. I like some of them a little bit less but I really wanted to share my thoughts on all of Hardy's novels especially because I feel like Thomas Hardy is one of those authors where out of his 14 books there are maybe like four that everyone has heard of, like Tess of the Dovervilles is incredibly well known, so is Far From the Madness Crowd, so is Judy Obscure, so is The Mayor of Casterbridge. But the rest of his books are a bit forgotten. Some of them, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit deservedly so. There are some Hardy books that I'm not terribly keen on, but some of the other books of his that are not really heard of are marvellous, brilliant, incredible books that I just want to shout about and tell people about. So I thought I would do a Hardy fortnight. So for those of you who may have not been around in my previous author weeks, let me quickly explain how this will work. Every day for the next 14 days, I will be talking about a different book by Thomas Hardy. I'll be starting with my least favourite Hardy novel, which I'll talk about tomorrow, and I'll go right through to my very favourite Hardy novel, which I'll be talking about two weeks today. These videos are all going to be spoiler free. The idea is to provide a basic introduction to each of these Hardy novels and talk a little bit about what I like about them, what I maybe don't like about them so much, but not really to go into like proper spoilery depth. Now Thomas Hardy is one of my favourite authors. I love so many of his books and he's written some of my favourite books of all time. I love the way he writes about the changing rural landscape in the Victorian period, how he writes about the influence on technology and industrialization, on farming and the rural areas. I love the way he writes about class and social mobility. I love the way he writes about the difficulties that face women in the 19th century. I love the way he writes about love and the different kinds of love that people can feel. Thomas Hardy is the master of the love triangle. Sometimes the love square, sometimes the love pentagon, but he is the master of all of those shapes and he writes human interactions and human relationships so well. I love his dialogue, I love his prose style, I love reading his books, I love the strange things that happen in them. I love the fact that even though so many of his books are really, really miserable and really bleak, there's always a glimmer of hope and love somewhere in the middle, even if it's dead by the end. It exists, it's there for a moment, and I feel like Hardy is one of those writers that though he has very, very little faith in the world, he does have some faith in humanity, and that makes me happy. I love the way he writes about Wessex, the fact that all of his books are set within this semi-fictional world that is based on the southwest of England that he knew. I love that different characters in different bits of his novels visit the same places, and you can almost imagine them passing each other by in the street. I love the way he writes about human emotion and passion, and I love I love the power of his books to move me. I also love the power of his books to excite me. Some of his books are massive page turners that really do keep you guessing. I love so many things about this author and I'm so excited to have a whole week to talk about his books. So yes, that was all I wanted to say for today. Just a quick introduction to what will be going on on this channel over the next two weeks. I'll be starting tomorrow with my least favourite Hardy novel, so hopefully that won't be too negative a video, but it will probably be a slightly negative one because I don't like my least favourite Hardy novel very much at all. But from then on, I should have good things to say about the books as well as a few bad things. I love Hardy a lot but I don't think he's perfect and I'm really excited for everything I have to discuss. So yes that's all for this introductory video to two weeks of Thomas Hardy. I hope you're looking forward to hearing more about Hardy books as much as I am talking about them. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about my first Hardy novel.